Hello, welcome back to the cold streets of... Well, almost at Tarkov, but it's Trudograd. Yeah. Let's do some of the quests in this part of the map, because I think I have enough right now. So the scrap quarter, I think I have three or four. As you can see, this one is still in the scrap quarter. But first of all, we should do the little quest called... What was it called again? To the heist. Oh, okay, so some of the quests are actually from other parts, but they show up in, for example, this is from the second tier. Hmm. Okay, home feathers the free smoking barrels. Who are you? Crime scene, what are you talking about? Oh, it's the guys that we actually helped, okay. A bit cop entered the house. Why did it uh, do it? Rusty's first ever job a few days ago in a pathetic way, some kind of fellow. Some kind of fellow helped him get a position as a driver in the TGT cargo shipping company, but the other took tours on the road before he ended up in the ditch. He didn't have a scratch on him, but he lost both the cargo and the truck. Where his mother verbally abused him. I told you you are nothing but a loser and so on. I get inside. Yeah, there's a lot of blood. But the money hidden under the floor and <laughs> the evidence has been collected. The city will take the apartment. It's a nice place. Check it out. Well, yeah, I, I knew that something would like this would happen if you convince them to to if you convince the mother to let the boy work, but whatever. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Ah, well, I guess we tried. Wait, is that not the apartment? No, that's... that's it for sure. Oh, well, let's take care of the heist. I mean, yeah, that was unfortunate, to say the least. Yeah, so some of the quests are actually... Wait, what? Why didn't I take this book before? Okay, let's do that quest and then we'll have to do some other ones. So I mean, we still have the seeds for that other quest and the truck. It's over there. The dubious fellows have arrived, the ringleader is explaining something. The whole team is assembled. Okay, pencil. My name is Mika Dewell and I'm the getaway driver. Ryoka, the lab assistant. Smith. What key? Pencil, captain of the ship. This is... Uh, what is your name? Well... Senia uh, the Butcher. Nicola, Arthur Nikolai. The Brick. Well, I guess you are Nikolai today. It's not a poly, yeah. 
Ain't no popo. <laughs> About people, I'm never wrong. By the time you organize the devilry of rusty weapons to Krasnos Namenia and other your associates turned out to be undercover police officers. Yeah, it was a mistake. Let's talk about the robbery. Something big, exactly. Oh, he got himself killed in the Tudogard Road. He's being guarded by two and a half men. Oh man, they really don't hit you gently with the subtle, with the well. They don't really hit you gently with the jokes about movies or refer movie references. Yeah. His entrance guarded by only one guard. Did I pick a new ring leader? The man who stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> Rooster fighting circle. Someone resolved beef with a group of chicken farmers. I'm sure the money is still there. Between the scrub quarter and Mikael H. Tavern. When we meet up, Mika will bring his car, me and Loic will do the rest, knock outside in the guard and intimidate what we are inside, knock out the guard, knock out the outside guard and intimidate whoever is inside. What are you not telling us? <laughs> but that guy hasn't been dead for a long time, only a week. I'm alone, do you don't need extra people for a couple of thousand rubles? People are making bets into the hundreds of thousands, I can't promise, but there's a good chance there are millions of rubles waiting for us at the save at least two or three. Is <laughs> okay? Already, this sounds like a bad idea. Okay, let's do this quest and then we'll see what else. I kind of got delayed with the content from for Atom RPG. Should because well, it was very boring in the beginning. I almost lost interest in the game, but you know, as soon as I found the power armor, I bought the power armor. Walk past the scene. <laughs> yeah, let's join them. I mean, my. Uh, Associates. Jump in the car, where your partners in crime are already waiting. Pencil, as usual, is upbeat, but the other two are visibly tense. Mika is tapping nervously on the wheel and popping his head out the window every few seconds. Loka, the lab assistant, is compulsively checking his magazine. All right, ladies and germs, the, the plan is simple. Mika will wait here for us. Me, Loka, our new friend, Pencil points at you, will go down to the basement where they stage the cockfights. There will likely be one lone guard at the entrance. We need to get rid of him quietly. Inside will be a couple more people at most. We take them at gunpoint, find them safe. Loja cracks her open, piece of cake. Pencil pulls three scarves from his jacket, tying one over the lower part of his face. He offers the other two to you and Loja. Better safe than sorry. Well, except I'm wearing power armor, which means they cannot see my face anyway. But this is a nice deal to detail with the pistol over here. That isn't the plan, it's more like a Look, dilemma. we've been through this before. If you hadn't been eager, you wouldn't have come. Pencil pops open the door. This is gonna be smooth like butter, I promise. Okay, enough dilly-dallying. Let's move. He tucks his gun under his leather jacket and gets out of the car. With the scarves over your faces and guns hidden under your shirts, the three of you walk up the block and turn into a narrow side street. You walk fast for about 30 more meters before coming to a T-junction. A five-story house from the 50s towers above you, but the way is blocked by a handful of tumble-down shacks. Crap! Uh, this was all open space just a week ago. These ant hills keep going up everywhere, Pencil swears. That five-story building? That's where we're going. The road to the left traverses a residential block, 
On the right area, lean-to shanties and medieval-looking spiked fences. Oh yeah, this is... that's nice the presentation. Wait, what? Well, that's inhabited, uninhabited street, that's right. I guess we'll go along the fence. You decide to take the empty, dirty street. On the left, you're covered by odd-looking huts, and on the right, by a long fence bordering a ditch full of weeds and sewage. Out of nowhere, a raggedy-looking mutt trots into your path and starts barking his lungs out. The beast isn't actually threatening, but it might draw the attention of your upcoming victims. Try to calm the animal. The dog starts barking and doesn't seem to be stopping. How can you shut it up? You exchange glances with your comrades. Pencil shrugs and suggests an idea. Should we feed it or pet it or something? I don't know, I'm not a dog handler. Feed the dog. animal gulps down the meat and then continues barking, though he doesn't sound as motivated as before. The dog devours the new offering and relaxes a little. It seems you'll be able to settle your dispute peacefully. The dog balances on you with his front paws and tries to lick your face. He's not interested in barking now. After climbing to your feet, you wait a couple of minutes just to be safe, then keep going, and the walk will not be long. You arrive at the entrance of the illegal cockfighting basement, where a lone guard is pacing back and forth. He looks bored and isn't much interested in his surroundings or his job. Pencil presses his index finger to his lips and ducks behind a pile of dirty boxes. You and Loja follow. The moment of truth, we have to get rid of this lumphead. And quietly, Pencil takes a quick peek at the situation and quickly ducks back. This part's up to you. Don't let us down. The doorway is hidden from the eyes of both passerby and the guard, so there's no need for violence. But getting there without drawing his attention will be hard. Well, I guess you only have attention. You notice a stone that is perfect for your needs. You throw the stone, but instead of flying where you need it to go, it bounces off the guard's calf and falls at his feet. He spins around, weapon raised, but is met with an echoing shot. He falls to the ground like a sack of wet beads. Loja, the lab assistant, is looking out from behind the boxes with a smoking TT pistol in his hand, his knuckles white. Is he? Is he dead? Loja asks with a quaver in his voice. Dead is last month's lunch meat, Pencil assures him gloomily as he comes out of cover. Nice throat, asshole, he says without looking at you. The way's clear, but if there's anyone up ahead, they'll be giving you one warm welcome. Uh, well, I'm not a ninja, I'm basically... <laughs> I'm just a guy in a power The ironclad door is secured with a hefty padlock. Pencil scratches his head, unsure, but Loha, the lab assistant, needs only tinker with it for a minute, and the door is open. He turns to you. All set. Take a look and see what's inside. Hmm, this looks like a very bad idea. I think there will be more than two people in here. Well, we have a power armor, guys, so what could go wrong, right? That's nice. That's very nice work. Okay, only a few people. There are more than two guards and they're all aiming at us. One of them speaks. Changing from the noise outside, I figure you're driving here on a tank. <laughs> Did you think we missed that racket? Pencil doesn't look too happy about it. Yeah, Nadievich, what are, are you doing here? You are killed on the highway. Kill one now? Oh yeah, nah, I started the rumor myself, idiot. See, the secret cartel placed a bounty on my head, so I decided to assassinate myself. Before they could. My contacts in the merchant guild. Crooked. Oh, I paid them all to spread the rumor. Is that your pencil? You, des you decide that since I was dead, you, you were free to rob our place of business? Well, this is embarrassing. Secret cartel, what do you know about them? I think you showed up with only. You think we showed up here with only three guys? There are like 10 men watching the drill, I guess we can lie to him, I don't know. We can kill all of them to get more loot. Any bit of luck or something really good. No, no, let's do the fight. 
Hope for a tiny bit of luck. Really lucky. Yeah, let's attack. I want more loot. Shotgun Soviet Army knife, that will not do. Oh, AK-47. <laughs> he even has grenade, okay, if that is pencil, he's very well prepared for this. Wait, oh, that guy is on the floor, okay. Well, at least they have a lot of guns. Well, he had a nice suit going for him. Oh, the last guy is hiding, really? What is he trying to do? Get away? <laughs> what? We killed one guard and five more people inside. The storm of shots in the tight confines of the basement, most of them which is Zidron, so what he opens he opens his mouth he shouts, You okay guys, what a mess. Uh Yep, what should we do now? Well let's go to the office and drop it them. Then she will guard the door. Okay. That was a very nice scene, I mean, a, that was a proper shootout. Yeah, that would have been super bad if I didn't have the power armor. Well, I guess it would have been more or less the same. To be honest, I think the game needs a little more, I don't know. All of the options seem to make you lose loot, so I think they should rebalance some of the mechanics. So if they run, they should leave some of the loot, or I don't know. I just killed him because I think that's the better way to get the loot. Stalker armor, that's interesting. Hunting rifle is very heavy. Custom revolver. Well, at least they, they had a few weapons. Oh, so there are six people in here. Okay, this guy was... Oh, okay. This guy was the most dangerous. We have the special forces element, which is a bit rare. I don't think I have seen it so far in the game. That's actually nice loot. I'm happy with the loot I got from this mission. <laughs> Why did they have so many ice boxes in here? Let's take the onion. Let's take the all of their food away. This is actually a nice design area because you have the benches, you have the ring over here. We have an axe over there. Uh, well, I guess I don't want to. Well, I guess after the fights they had a little nice, a nice little dinner. Some perfume, not bad. Well, I guess I'll not steal their soap this time. Uh, 
sure? Let me open the safe first. Smith and Wesson revolver. Oh, I was looking for this for a very long time. So what does it do? Oh, it has a, a low AP cost, only 3. That means I can shoot it 3 times. Mid range, 10 to 17. Stun chance and chance to ignore armor and chance to cause panic. Oh, okay, that's nice. 10,000 rubles in it. Of 1, 3 and 5 rubles on it, only 10,000. Yeah, that's more than the average to do Gradian in 10 years, but it's not enough to match the risk we undertook. How many millions we were talking about? Eh. Okay, let me get the bag and then we'll see. <laughs> Probably there is more money in behind the painting. Oh, what? What does he have in his journal? Perfumer colon, okay. Princess, what? I'm reading, I'm skimming for it. It's not, it's not anything pleasant. <laughs> okay, November. They don't like us selling lotus from the basement base. Oh, so that's why they wanted him dead. He was selling <laughs> black lotus. Uh, can we find the black lotus anywhere? No, I didn't see anything else. Well, okay. Okay, so he was wearing dresses and makeup. Ah, well, I guess. I guess he had a nice painting in the bathroom. Oh, that's a mirror. Yeah, I guess that's everything that's in here. It's kind of funny, but a little bit weird if you ask me. Pencil never takes his eyes off the door. Taps his cigarette on against the wall, okay. We have to get out of here. I went outside for a little air and saw some fucks gathering out there. Which when they spotted me, they rushed to hide. We're good as dead skis. They'll kill us for sure. Well, there's there is still time. Time enough for to explain why there was only ten grand in the vault. There's nothing that says some dime, so we're going to die for that. They make a hundred in a week here, Aldo. They must have hidden it somewhere else be the day before. Yeah, we just got to run. I'm not worried about anything, of course. Well, I'm a bit hungry. Should I use that? Nah, there's no point. Super steam. Wow, when did I get so many super steams? I didn't even notice that.
And just look at the graphics. Every time I'm playing this game and I see something like this, I'm super impressed. The particle effects are super nice. I don't know, that means what is just right. Can I speak to them before I leave? I want to ask them a few questions. No, oh, okay, 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 time, time, time. You shoot out of the joint, into the empty street, in the back of Mika the Wheel's car, before even taking a breath of the clean outdoor air. The driver gives you a quick look and puts the pedal to the metal. With an ear-splitting screech, a Moscovich comes out of the gate behind you, followed closely by a menacing Ish 2125. A thug with a pistol is scanning the scene from the Ish. He points at your car, and the pursuit is on. As calm as a Zen Buddhist, and skillful as an F-1 pilot despite the buzz of bullets all around, Mika takes you swiftly and smoothly through the maze of narrow streets, busy market squares, and tram stops, drifts of snow, and patches of broken road, all the way to the suburbs. Nice. Mika thumps down on the accelerator so hard it seems he's going to break through the car's floor. This is the moment when the light as a feather Ish spins out of control, flips upside down into the ditch, and explodes as if loaded with TNT. The other, heavily armored car breaks immediately. Having lost their leader, the remaining thugs have also lost any interest in pursuing you. Mika drags his eyes from the rearview mirror with a grin. At last, you're on your way to safety. At a more conventional speed, you cruise smoothly past ordinary people and police officers racing to the scene of the spectacular crash. The gate guards are so focused on the explosion, they take no notice of you. Mika drives you to the small suburban market without trouble and rolls to a stop. Okay, looks like that was all for nothing. Well, let's see how we split the money. I, a, I don't care about the money, I just wanted the experience. Besides, if I sell all of the items they gave me, I mean, uh, all of the items they donated to me, I'll be okay. <laughs> nice scene. By the way, it's also dark, I like the details. You can't beat talent with alcoholism, what? Why? We passed with flying colors. Uh, nice skills, Mika. I will did and did do this for sport. What about the money? I have 10,000 rubles right here. Mm, good for nothing heist. Exactly. Not a bad payout. Well, it's actually terrible. It's not even enough to cover my expenses for repainting the armor. Except when you divide it four ways. I deserve a bigger cut. Okay. So what I get? 4,000 and the other ones get 2,000? Ah, 3,000 rubles. That's not bad. Uh, it's a little shy of the million rubles I estimated. <laughs> If she didn't walk out empty-handed... Yeah... After all, it's just money, it's just paper. A smart man can always get more paper, but the experience you got these days is rare indeed. But actually, I don't know about... Okay, why did that fellow knew him? They were together, uh, had some pre-war weapons that they sold to cousins not many. Uh, we used to have a guy there who resold the stuff of beat that fellow in the catacombs beneath the town. Uh, okay. Okay, what about Professor Goraev? This is actually one of the main quests. The Professor Goraev Chev is the one with the what was that thing called again? I forgot my main mission. This is exactly like Fallout. So, yeah. The rail gun. Yes. He was always buying rusted gadgets and ge ge What's that word? Stolen goods. Shut his fear of me. Says that the boys from the Secret Service are watching him. 
One time a black car stood parked under his window for days. The Trudeau Grad Security Service, TSS. <laughs> Why did they want the old man? The old man was sent to Ramshorn, the secret prison somewhere in Tudograd. Someone who actually resists the ones in power doubles in terrorism or simply knows too much they get thrown over there, okay. Now that our current leaders have, de have mostly dealt with the problems Tugrat had faced since the war, we finally had time to kidnap and silence Gurechev. Yeah, that's a theory. Where is this ram's horn located? Somewhere in the upper tier of the city where all the rooftop buildings are. Oh, okay. Who do you think those guys... Who do you think those guys who were... What, what, what's with this... Uh, okay. Who do you think those guys were who chased where who? I guess this should have been who do you think those guys that were chasing us were or something like that. Is Asmet Prosnakers and Sergey Bonebreaker. Yeah, that's a nice... That, those are nice names. Okay, we blew up Brass Knuckles. We'll hide out somewhere until the bacon gets tired of looking for us. In a month or two, we can come back. Uh, I have to close up shop too. I have no money breaks in my personal gun. That would be a massive hit to my reputation as a master locksmith. Yeah. Uh, oh, we can try to break into his place if I remember where it is. They have been hiding in behind a nearby snow pile. Oh, okay, it's a mystery. I guess you're back to all ways. Let's give them some of the super steams. That was a weird adventure, to say the least. Can we at least sell some of this stuff? Oh, wait, they still have the poison balls. Maybe I should try the poison balls. Maybe I can paralyze someone. Oh, he's not actually the armor guy. Let's sell this to the armor guy. Let's, let's see how much money we actually made. Or if this unlocks something new for us. Uh, apparently not. Let's sell that as well. That has to go. Wow, okay. We already... <laughs> we are already making too much money, apparently. Ah, this is fine. Well, I guess you can give the helmet to Blaze since Hexogen is wearing his light helmet. What do you mean? They cannot wear the... What do you mean she cannot carry more items? I don't think she's carrying a lot of items to begin with.
That was weird, she couldn't wear the helmet because she had too many items. Mm. Whatever, can we see how she looks with that? <laughs> yeah, she's a puppy soldier. That's so cute. Puppy soldier to the rescue. <laughs> Does this guy have enough money to buy my AK? No, he, do he doesn't have any money left, apparently. Oh well, that was kind of interesting. I was hoping to do two missions, but that one was a very long and narrative-driven mission. I guess we just have to go back inside the city. Okay, for a moment I thought they wouldn't follow me. This was actually a cool mission, I, I think they should have had more missions like this, but on the other hand, yeah, there, there was no difficulty to that mission. We could have won it super easy anyway. I also want to take another look at... Okay, come on. Yeah, both of my companions are wearing weird masks. That's how I like it. Yeah, we fi can finally get a good look at her. Yeah, that element complements the dog mask very well. Also, the ears are sticking out of the mask, which makes it a lot more funny. I wish I had a cat mask. Okay, bye.